Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bogey King. We're glad you're here today. Today, I've got another cool product review for you. I went to Walmart recently. I was looking at the golf balls. I always have to make a trip to the golf aisle and I always look at what they got. And I happened to come across this uh, golf ball brand I hadn't seen before. They're called Cut. Now, uh, they have some big claims. Finally, a golf ball for the people. They say this ball goes far and feels ridiculously good. A sleeve of premium quality golf balls at an affordable price. And this was $20 for 24 golf balls. Uh, it says here they are two piece construction, softest feel, 320 dimple patterns, USGA conforming, um, ionomer cover. I don't know what that means, but we're out here. We're going to play a couple of holes and we're going to see how these balls feel off the tee around the greens. Maybe we'll throw a couple in the sand and see how they feel out of the sand. And then we're going to, uh, maybe we'll cut one open at some point. We'll check out the inside. Here's how they look. Not too bad, cut number two. Uh, have a line for alignment. They feel good. Uh, it sound, feels like they have a kind of like urethane cover on them. And uh, you know, overall, we'll see how they play. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, it goes a long way to help the channel. Drop a comment below if you have found any new golf balls that you've tried and like outside of maybe the major brands. But yeah, let's get out here, let's get warmed up, and let's hit a couple and see how these uh, cut golf balls do. Can they really make the cut? All right, everyone, here we go. So one of the things I like about finding new products, especially products like this, are the cost aspect. Obviously, in the last couple of, well, actually in the last couple of videos, I mentioned that you know I'm trying to help find some golf products and review golf products that might not break the bank. And so I like when I can find a golf ball or a club or anything that might actually help you get better at golf while actually not costing a ton of, of your hard earned money. Golf is hard enough, it's expensive enough, it can be, but have you, maybe we can actually play golf without it being too much. So I'm on a par four, it's hole number 10. I am not warmed up at all. I just came out here to try these balls out. So I'm going to uh, do the best I can. I'm hitting my Ping G410 three wood that I've really taken a liking to. I just did a review on that. So I'll put the link in the description below if you haven't seen that one yet. But yeah, let's just get out here and let's just see how these cut balls really do. Now that felt really good off the tee. It's got a little right fade on it, but uh, it's a little windy out if you can't tell in the microphone. That was a good first strike. Felt good. Uh, about middle of the fairway, about 150 out. Let's go up there, find it, and check it out off the, uh, off the fairway. Now here we are. So just past the 150. Here we are, so we're just about, just past the 150. Um, well, wind in my face, so normally from here I would do an eight iron, but I think I'm gonna go with the seven. I'm gonna try and keep it left out of the thick stuff and just place it close. Like I mentioned at the tee time, or the tee off, I'm not uh, very warmed up. I just came out here to try these balls out, but I'm really kind of itching to get out and play them. So I'm left right under the tree. All right, so I don't know if you can see, it's up here by the tree. It's a, a second shot. So we're just gonna try and chip it up a little far, a little forward onto the green. Let it uh, trickle down. You don't wanna go long here. That worked out pretty well. All right, so that was a pretty good chip. It didn't actually run out as far as I hoped it would, but I'm still in a decent position to putt. A uh, little downhill, looks like it's gonna be a little left to right. Green's got some stuff on it, but that's okay. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Nice little pop 
off of the club face. So we'll take a bogey there. After all, this is bogey king. And so far after one hole, I have to say, I can see some scuffs, I see some marks, but the cover itself feels pretty good. So let's uh, head off to the next hole and we'll see how it does in the next one. Next one's a par five, this was a par four. So this is hole number 11, it's a par five. It's kind of a monster. Uh, it's got a pretty open tee shot down, the, down there and then you have to go down with a tree. It drops down by kind of a you know, bunch of crap and then you have to hit up to the elevated green all the way back down there. So it's a pretty awesome hole. I, I enjoy playing it. Um, I'm usually on in uh, at least three. So I'm gonna go with three wood again off the tee. Again, it's playing well for me. I enjoy using this club. I think anything like that, right? Like if you can play something that you know plays well to your strengths, you just should use it. So that was a hundred miles in the air, but it should land on the fairway. So as I always say, it's hundred miles up and hundred yards forward. I want to guess that went about 170. Not a great strike, but middle of the fairway. Again, we're not professionals here, right? Just gonna play it as is. Oh. All right, so as I said, I hit that ball all of 170 yards, but I'm still middle of the fairway. I'm gonna aim for the tree. I've been hitting my five iron really well right now. So I'm gonna try and crank it up there. Just get it close for a third shot over. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, it's better to be short and straight than long and crooked. So make the jokes you might make. And we're gonna see if we can just smoke this guy down there. Oh, chunky. Here at Boogie King Golf, we don't hide the bad. We emphasize the bad, because that's what we're boogie golfers, right? So I've been hitting my five iron well. I said I've been hitting it well. And what do I do? But I chunk it and I go about 100 yards. Now I'm still in the fairway, so we'll take the positives, but I don't want to go all the way because that's over 200 yards, I think, based on where I am. It's 210, 220. So I'm gonna get and use my 52. I'm gonna put this down, hopefully in front of the tree, and put myself in a situation where I can just chip up and, you know, try to putt for, for par, I guess. Crazier things have happened. Not bad, but as straight and about as far as I expected. All right, so about 120 out, nine iron territory for me. We're a little bit of an elevated lie. We're going to see if we can pop it up and over. Good strike, sit down. Back at the green, I think we're in the sand trap. Well, we wanted to test this ball out in the sand, so we're gonna get our chance. Well, just as I suspected, we are dead smack in the center of the sand, right by the rake. So we're going to take this opportunity and test out how this ball does out of the sand. I wanna try and back up this way. We can try and get a good view of how this ball performs out of the sand. We're gonna see if we can get ourselves out of here. I'm gonna try and scoop this thing up. If you notice I didn't even wear golf cleats. I just wanted to come out here and play some golf in the late afternoon. Well, it's evening, but. Oh, 
not pretty, but it's out. It actually really not too bad considering where the, the flag is. So down there, I actually thought I was too much, but that's all right. This thing is fairly straight, a little back right. Cup is leaning, so we're gonna take the flag out. Let's see, one, two, a line. So one thing I do for my own mental state, for my own focus and my own kind of prep, you know, everyone has a routine. I definitely wholeheartedly recommend a routine. I look at the putt, I look at the line, I check the different angles, make sure my path is clear. Now these greens are thick, I'm putting uphill. And I should have hit it just a little more. So there's double bogey on a par five. Again, we show the good, the bad, and the bogey. So, what do I think of the cut golf ball? Let me get settled in the cart, get my stuff back. Let's talk a little bit about these golf balls. <sighs> All right, well, I played two holes with these balls. I played a par four and I played a par five and definitely had a number of, you know, chances to hit the ball, hit it off the tee, hit it off the fairway, hit it out of the rough hit it out of the sand, putted it a couple of times. And I have to say, uh, it actually felt really good. Um, something that I'm gonna say that you might not like to hear or wanna hear is that for those of us who are higher or mid handicap golfers, the golf ball at the end of the day is probably not gonna make a whole lot of difference, right? We're just trying to make good contact, trying to get the ball forward, straight, etc. So for those of you out there who preach the Titleist Pro V1 message and all the other expensive golf balls, you don't need them. If you have preferences, it's fine, go buy them, I don't care. But at the end of the day, most likely if you're 12, 13 plus handicap, you're gonna play this cut golf ball that I paid $20 for 24 of them. You're gonna play a Titleist Pro V1, a Vice Pro, a Cataway Super Soft, you're gonna play all of them, all of them about the same, right? So is this cut golf ball worth it? I think so. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, I definitely got a number of hits. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can on the camera, but I mean, it's got some scuffs, but overall the casing is still in good shape. Uh, it held up good, you know, in the sand. It came out with very, I mean, almost no scratches. It just has some green grass on it. But overall, if you're looking for, you know, a cheap golf ball that has good performance, I think this one could work for you. I found it at Walmart. I don't know if they're sold online. If it is, I'll put a link in the description below. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a golf ball. It's not expensive, and you're not gonna be upset if you lose them. I'm playing right now on a Lynx style course. I lose plenty of balls, and I get really upset if I have a nice Vice Pro, or I find, even if I find a Pro V1 and I play it, I don't wanna lose it. So, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, you're gonna be hunting through the tall grass, risking getting ticks because you wanna find that Pro V1 versus you drop a cut, you drop a ball that's not the end of the world, not, you're just gonna leave it, right? Take the drop and move on. It's not worth risking life and limb to find a golf ball because you paid $4 for it. So all that said, it's a good golf ball, recommend it. Get out there, check it out. Walmart has them. Again, I'll look for links and put them online or put them in the description below for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up goes a long way to help the channel. Drop a comment below. What golf balls do you like? Which golf balls do you use? And uh, would you like to see more reviews on golf balls? It's kind of fun to come out here and have an excuse to play a couple of holes late in the evening. But we're glad you're here. And we hope that between now and next video, you get out, you play some golf. And until next time, as we say every video here at Bogey King Golf, you can still have fun even if you're playing plus one. So like I said, get out there, play some golf, have some fun, try some new golf balls. You never know if you like it. And uh, until next video, we're going to uh, see you later. I'm going to go grab some dinner. All right, everyone. Later. All right, everyone. So what would a good ball review be if I didn't cut one of these open? This is the ball that I used out there. Uh, I can see it's a little scuffed up. It's not really, actually, it's not scuffed up. It's just dirty. But we're going to cut this bad boy in half. And we're going to see what's inside of it. Now, as I said before, I don't recommend doing this because it is dangerous. 
this thing is, well, this thing is super sharp. So look at that two piece ball. There's the inner core, the outer layer. So for, like I said, 20 bucks, 24 balls. It's not bad, two piece, nice little pink core. Thank you.